Hola amigos, what is up? This is Tales of Rocka, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. It, hey, 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 hang on. I saw a dialogue bubble, but it might have just been that guy. Is that the kid is a big place? It's a mountain, actually. You can check the board over there to see where you are. Alright, so in the last episode, the main party went to Gizmaluk's grotto to try to go to the Kingdom of Bernicia, which is under attack by some black mages, go figure. In this episode, however, we're gonna be starting off anyway with the team up of Dagger and Steiner. I, with the team up, oh, there we go. Shouldn't go back, Oh, I wanted to get that treasure chest though. Also, if you were wondering why I was freaking out, my controller like stopped working for a second, which is kind of weird. No, you don't have a mog shop. Some of the Moogles run a shop, but I guess not. Alright, let's talk to you. Show your gate pass. Yep, that's the one. Let's depart. None of those items we bought aren't really going to be too useful for this party setup. But, uh, let's sit here. That's good. Please wait while I prepare for departure. Oop, wait, wait for me. There's part-time worker Mary. She came on board to thank her new friend Steiner. Thank you for your kind words earlier. No, I thank you. Alright, we're all clear for departure. So one of the things I do like about Final Fantasy IX is the fact that your party shifts around quite a bit. And that has some inherent bad sides, too. Our journey from Lindblom was very tough, but... It was your white magic that helped me through all the, through the battles against all those monsters. Your fortitude that got us past the obnoxious Moogles in Chocobo's forest. And finally, your idea to use Jassal Pickles to get past the Southgate guards. But one of the things I do like about this game is that you get a lot of party members shifting, and that's something that a bunch of the Final Fantasy games do, too. But in a game like Final Fantasy IV or Final Fantasy VII, you really only have, like, one main protagonist. And this game kind of has two. This game is very much about Dagger as it is about Zidane. I mean, it's a little bit more about Zidane, because he's got protagonist syndrome. But Dagger plays a huge role. This game is not without Dagger. Can you stand up? Don't worry about me. Please protect Bert. Me. And dead. I will protect Bermesia. You have my word. Alright, let's get going. Now, before we head to Bermesia, though, I do want to head back through Gizmaluk's grotto to get some more blue magic. Because there is a bunch of blue magic in this game that could actually be useful, and a lot of it can be gained pretty early on. Not a huge amount of the useful stuff, but we can get some of the useful stuff here. And I'm not too worried about the monsters in here. Okay, we have flies and a skeleton. Oh, those are hornets, apparently. Oh, that's not what I wanted to have happen. My goal was to hit one of those guys, or like, this hit the skeleton with Zidane, and then eat. It's not gonna go well, is it? So, I forgot if I covered this in the last episode. It has been, like, a couple days since I've done any recordings for this. But the way the eat command works, it actually requires the target to have 25% HP or lower. 
And that's not gonna happen when Zidane is Berserked. So Berserk is a status problem slash buff. On the one hand, Berserk makes you lose control of your character. They'll start attacking by themselves. Which is bad for magic users, but insanely good for melee attackers, because it also increases your attack power by, I think, 50%. It's a pretty sizable chunk, so being berserked actually does have its benefits here. We've already seen this guy. I don't need to showcase you. We already have your power, too. Queen of Wands something else. You know what? Oh. And the dead. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna meet you guys back at Q's Marsh. Eat. Uh, there's the vice slice. Please eat. Please eat. Learned Vanish. Nice. So from vice, you can get Vanish. Vanish, I believe, renders you immune to physical attacks for a short amount of time, but getting hit with a magic attack will cause it to fizzle out. I'm gonna open up the menu to confirm that. But I do want to get the Queen of some a decent variety of blue magic before we get to the next area. Yep, makes a party member disappear. Yeah, pumpkin head! That's another good one. Pumpkinhead is basically minus strike. Deals more damage the less health you have. There we go. There's the spell I wanted. Frog Drop. Alright, now Frog Drop is going to need a little bit of explaining as to what it does. Uh, so let's talk a bit about it. Now Frog Drop is of course blue magic ability. Queen can use it, blah blah blah. Frog drop. Amount of damage depends on the number of frogs that you have caught. I believe this move will deal a fixed 100 damage for every frog that Queena catches in any of the Q's marshes. Now, we already have some frogs, which is fine. But the thing about the Q's Marshes is, since there are four of them in the game, as far as I remember, and the frogs can respawn, we can catch some frogs again. Now, we're gonna keep the Golden Frog there, mostly because having the Golden Frog in the pond will cause frogs to appear in the pond more frequently. So in other words, it's Best to leave the golden frog alone and just capture the other frogs instead. So see, there's a little tiny little baby frog there. Wait around uh, long enough and it'll be a big froggo. Ready to be captured again. Catch at least one more frog. Get our optimal frog droppage. Of course, leave the area. Zidane asks if we've had enough. We got three. We're good for now. So I'm going to meet you guys back at Burmesia. Or back at the end of Gizmaluk's Grotto, I guess. We're not at Burmesia quite yet. But don't worry, we'll get there. We'll get there soon enough. I remember where there is. Oh, it's actually pretty simple. It's right over here. Be right back.
Okay, maybe it, maybe it wasn't a hundred damage. Maybe it was just ten. Maybe. We might need to catch more frogs. And we're here! That didn't take long at all. Alright, so now that we're in this section, of course, there's more enemies for us to eat. But there also happens to be, over here... Well, monsters. Obviously. Duh! Of course there's gonna be monsters. It's a Final Fantasy. That is a lizard man. It's actually a lizard man. Lizard man? I'm going to stab you. Why can't I eat lizard mans? To power up frog drop. And then I realized why. Oh yeah, that's right, because uh, frogs are amphibians, not lizards. I know can eat until it weaker. Alright, so you might be noticing that enemies have a little bit more health now. And they're also going to be casting a little bit more variety in their uh, spells. So you see we've got that guy who's protected over there. So he's not going to be taking very much physical damage at all, unfortunately. But I know what kind of damage you will be taking. PUMPKIN DAMAGE! Provided Queena doesn't die. 320. Okay. Vivi got stabbed by an axe. It's not usually how axes work, but let's just roll with it. Pumpkin damage. 306. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Alright, and Freya learned level up. It's very nice. Level up. Level up was from the Iron Helm. Downgrade her to Bronze Helm a little bit just to get... Well, actually, yeah, we can learn Bug Killer really fast. Cool Ring, you already have, but Germanus Boots. Well, let's get that going. You, on the other hand, cool ring. Can you learn anything cool? So both of them get to learn Insomniac. Alright, well let's give that to Vivi for now. So what I wanted to show was this big old sandstorm over here. Just this big tornado of sand. Suspiciously near a bunch of roots. Uh, I'm sure that's not going to come into play at all. So, uh, heal up the party a little bit. One of the nice things about Queena is the fact that you can keep them in the front row, mainly because they actually have a pretty huge amount of health for a mage. Like, Queena's health for a magic-based character is not bad at all. Skeletons! Nice! Unfortunately, we already learned Pumpkinhead, so these skeletons are useless to us. But we can stab them real good. Oh no, don't hack. Don't don't aimbot me, man. Don't use your aimbot and wall hacks to stab me through I, I'm not even sure where this joke is going. Uh but it's going it's going places. I'm actually awake today, for starters. I had a, like a delicious sandwich earlier. It's pretty nice ham and Swiss on uh, toasted brioche. It's really nice. Had some good chocolate milk. Vivi still doesn't have much. That's okay. Freya still doesn't have much. That's okay. Um... Do you have much, Queena? Can you do damage with Aqua Breath? Can you become a Barbie girl in a Barbie world? Of course. Not a big fan of that song, I take it. 
Alright, fair enough. Figure you'd be into it, but I guess not. Ooh, nice 448. Now the downside to Queen of being in the front row is even though they're a very bulky mage character, they still don't have much in the way of defense. So if it weren't for the fact that Queena has HP to make up for it and attack power to make up for it, I'd keep them in the back row, because they're still kind of a squishy. Oh well. Alright, let's get all good and healed up, because we're heading into Burmesia. Heading into some bad juju. And the juju only gets worse. So... This is Freya's home. What are you doing? Get over here. It's been five years. I've been away for so long. And a night went by when I didn't dream about home. Can't believe I'm here. I'm no longer the selfish child I was five years ago. The time has come to serve my kingdom as a Burmesian Dragon Knight once again. Alright, everyone wants to help. Burmesia, the realm of eternal rain. All right, and first and foremost, uh, well, there's a dead person here, but I believe on the other side of this cart is another Stelazio, Cancer. And a bunch of dead people, go figure. You know what, I'm gonna say this. I kinda wish that this was one of those games that allowed you to switch which party member you, can, where you were controlling on the overworld. And some Final Fantasy games let you do that. Like, three lets you do that, even though it's like, it is largely inconsequential either way. It's, it's a graphical touch more than anything. But I don't know, it would still be kind of nice to control other characters at certain points in the game. Mug, high potion was stolen. Oh, you piece of shit. I'm gonna hit you with fire. That's how mad I am at you. I also want to eat your skill, because I don't remember what it was. And I'm never going to remember what it was, because you died. I think Magic Vice will give us Magic Hammer as a skill. I don't remember what Magic Hammer does. I never really used it, to be honest. Oh, you thought it was just soldiers that were dead? Oop. Oh, it's these ass clowns. It is them again. Most persistent they are. Black mages. Hi. We're black mages. We're here to murder you. You'd think the fire wouldn't be too effective in the rain, but I guess not. They're very, very flammable. Speaking of things that are very, very flammable... Um... Okay, well maybe that- maybe that's not entirely the best way to segue into this. Uh, I was playing some Team Fortress 2. And, uh... That is a pretty fun game. Now, I had stopped playing Team Fortress 2 for like a year and a half. I pretty much hadn't played it for an extended period of time since Overwatch came out. So yesterday and this morning, I just sat down and played some Team Fortress 2 and had a blast. I am fucking awful at TF2 now, but that's okay, because I was bad at it to begin with. Also, you may have noticed something about that enemy that we tried to eat, one of the black mages. Queena can't eat them. The general will punish you for this. 
Yes, very scary it is when the general gets mad. Uh, no, I'm gonna save money on car insurance. But you can see that it's not just soldiers that are dead here. It's just innocent civilians, too. Literal fucking ass clowns. You are a soft. Nice. But I believe that you... Oh no, you're, you're a potion. Okay. Uh, got a little bit confused there. So there's a gap that we uh, can't cross quite yet. Even though we have a character that's known for jumping, we have Luigi in our party. And uh, she apparently just can't do anything. Can't do anything for us. It's a real shame. Over here is another soft. Hmm. It's kind of suspicious, actually. Oh, there it is. There's the chest that I knew was trapped. Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to a mimic. And mimics in this game aren't actually that bad. Kinda. Now, a mimic by itself isn't too bad. Problem is, good luck fighting one by itself. Mimics will generally summon another enemy at the beginning of a battle. Now this wouldn't be so bad if it weren't for the fact that enemies obviously are gonna have a lot of health to deal with, and the mimic itself is not defenseless. Never mind, it's completely defenseless. It's totally defenseless. Holy hell. Wait, what Zidane, why? You stabbed that guy very good like. Also shit. I thought fire was gonna kill anyway, so I just picked Freya up and there was no point. But then fire didn't kill, so it's just like, oh Freya, please miss. And uh, she didn't miss. How, how dare she be competent at her job? How dare she be one of the best characters in this game? Freya is great, but underutilized. That's what I'm gonna say. Uh, but there's a treasure chest over there that I want. Ah. But it's okay, though. It's alright. We can just casually make our way to the treasure chest we now have access to. A little bit of puzzle solving. Not too much. This game doesn't get too puzzly. So don't think of it as, like, The Legend of Zelda or anything. <laughs> More like the legend of Smelda. <laughs> Get it? Because they smell. Alright, this is a basilisk. Alright, basilisk. Took me a while to remember the word. I believe that in the remakes of Final Fantasy 1 and 2, uh, you can actually fight basilisks that are the Final Fantasy 9 basilisk designs. I'm pretty sure in the remakes you can, because I saw, like, Game Boy Advance-style sprites for them. And I don't remember them, they weren't in 4, they already had an appearance in 4. Uh, and they aren't in 5 or 6 that I know of. But I haven't played the Game Boy Advance 5 or 6. So, uh, maybe don't quote me on that. Or, or do quote me. You know, like, added to my TV tropes page. I'm sure everyone fucking updates that. I I don't even visit my TV tropes page. I don't even know how up-to-date it is. I don't even know how much of a meme I am. By the way, guys, if you, if you wanna, if you wanna update my TV tropes page, you can, you can, uh, go do that. Remember that time when I was a giant attention whore? Good times, right? Around for a bit more. Go out to the balcony. Make the jump. Make the plays. 
Now let's not go out to the balcony just yet. I believe somewhere over here or something? Yeah, ether. Which is very nice. And there's a person. Ugh. Get the bell by the bed and go to the palace. Protect the king, please. Bell by the bed. Check under the bed. Protection bell, nice. I never leave home without it. I'll meet you guys back to where we're supposed to be. 